Welcome to Fresh Off the Boat. I'm delighted to be uh, chatting with Tanushri Khanna, a student I've known since 2012-13 uh, when she was at TISB in Bangalore. So welcome, Tanushri. Uh, so glad to reconnect. It's uh, been some time now. I know you uh, entered Emory through the Oxford College route and then finally also was very sure to do business and you graduated from the Gazeera School of Business. Uh, currently, I looked up your LinkedIn profile, so I, I know that you're working at PwC for the last two years after graduating in 2018. Uh, and as an auditor, you've also done your CPA sort of license. So it's interesting. I think stu uh, students and listeners who are keen to know more about liberal arts colleges, life in Atlanta, and also work in accounting audit. Uh, so we'll keep this kind of conversation to 15 odd minutes and uh, get to know your journey. So why don't you introduce yourself first, Tanushri, and um, and then we'll uh, take it from there. Yeah, hi, Arjun. Um, so good to be on here. Um, everyone, hello, I'm Tanushri, and I grew up in Amritsar in North India. It's a very small town, but you all probably know it as like the town of Golden Temple. And then I left for boarding school to Bangalore, and now I'm here in Atlanta, and I've been here for about six years now. Great. So what do you think are reflections when you, you've already graduated and it's been two years at work? What are your reflections of your time at Emory? What are the few things that you would say were interesting in helping you become who you are, not just professionally, but also in terms of an individual? Yeah, I think that's a great question. Um, it seems, you know, really uh, crazy that it's already been two years that I like graduated, but um, I think the most special part of my journey always was Oxford. Um, it's a very, very unique experience where you're only there for your first two years of college and you get to be a part of a very close-knit small community and um, get to gain a lot of leadership skills and confidence and it's um, kind of easing your way into a new environment, but also like relying on an incredible support system um, so I think that like Oxford experience was one of my favorite like two years of my life and it really made me who I am today and still, you know, keeps me connected to the people that I met there. Um, so that would be one. And then also like, you know, the liberal arts uh, experience is not to be taken for granted. Like even though I knew that I wanted to go to business school and I wanted to study business and eventually work in that field. Um, Art was something that was always one of my biggest things, and I've kind of always been an artist. Um, and that Oxford experience allowed me to take a lot of art classes, do a lot of independent studies and research with my art professor. And that was like very, very incredible and gave me such an amazing chance to be working on my um, business education, but also continue my passion for art. Um, sort of rambling here, but also my third favorite thing would probably be working as an RA. I was an RA all three years. Um, for those of you who don't know, RA is a resident advisor um, who kind of is there for incoming freshmen in terms of housing in order to make everyone feel comfortable and create a safe space for everyone to live in and interact. And so I was an RA for all three years of um, college like starting my second year and it was an incredible experience and just putting me out of my comfort zone um learning a lot of new things and creating my identity um as who i am right now and also just you know um learning a lot of like social injustice issues and also standing up for myself and my peers um so yeah it taught me a lot Fantastic. That's 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 a great answer. And I love the idea of how a liberal arts college uh, experience was so well tapped by you into sort of nurturing your various interests in leadership and art and, of course, uh, the career sort of professional goals that you set for yourself with accounting. So go, digging a little deeper into uh, Gazetta and how it's sort of, uh, sort of wireframed for students to sort of succeed, what is it that you think uh, you learned the most? at the school, how is the curriculum designed, why is it different, and anything else that you'd like to share? 
yeah, Ghost Weta is a very um, unique environment in that it really stimulates you to um, take on a lot of different challenges. Like you're asked to take a lot of different courses, even if you know that if you want to concentrate in consulting, like you're still kind of asked to take a finance course and um, accounting course and everything so that you kind of create this holistic development for yourself. Um, I think what really makes that program really stand out is the professors who are really, really extremely supportive. Like really they have like a lot of open door hours and just are really there for you to, um, you know, provide guidance and get you connected to the world. And there's a lot of support that you receive from the Career Center. Um, it's really kind of a one-stop shop for like all your questions um and in some sort of way they're going to be able to connect you to the resources that you need and i really liked how i always kind of felt like i was being challenged um put out of my comfort zone but also had the support system that kept me connected to the resources i needed to succeed great and so what about your journey there in terms of courses and did you go in thinking that you're through accounting how did it all pan out yeah, you know, um, that's a good question. I think I knew very early on that I wanted to do accounting, which is a very unique experience. But for international students, like they would know that um, getting a job and getting work visa sponsorship is really, really important to their journey if they want to continue to stay in the United States. And I always knew I wanted to work in PwC. And so that's kind of how I like kind of backtracked it and went to accounting and for me, accounting was always like a base understanding for everything that you need to know in a business. And I eventually want to have my art nonprofit. And so in order to get there, I knew that I wanted to start in a very like early on stage um, where I got to understand a lot of businesses and it really is the foundation. And so I started recruiting pretty early on in my junior year and got a lot of support from my professors. It's a very strenuous program for accounting because you have to get um, a lot of credit hours in like just the two years that you're at Goizueta. And while a regular um, student would graduate with like 124 hours, like, or 125 or something, like by the time they graduate, like for accounting, you kind of have to have 150 to be able to sit for the CPA exam, which is the equivalent of a chartered accountant. So I knew that I had to like overload a lot so it had its challenges, but it was really worth it. Um, and it really like did teach me a lot and I've never looked back. Fantastic. I think just getting that CPA license a few months out of college uh, must be something uh, as a, a feather on your cap for sure, but also very <laughs> rewarding. Uh, so how was the journey in terms of finding your first job and what kind of support do you get from universities like Emory to be able to succeed? Yeah, I think like reaching out to a lot of alumni and having that support system is really important and the university really needs to step up and provide that to the students who are very nervous and navigating this very new process in our lives. And so Emory did a really good job in connecting us to alumni at all of the firms that we were interested in. I knew um, that I had a pretty short list given that I needed work visa sponsorship. And so seniors and alumni and also recruiters over there. Um, and one thing that I can't stress enough is just be completely truly yourself, like talk to them about anything that you want to like about yourself. Like I had most of my conversations with the recruiters at POVC about art and my Oxford experience, which was so valuable to me. And I think that's what ended up like standing out to them because for our internship, actually, like all the three people who were selected were all Oxford um, continuees. And so it really shows that, you know, they really are interested in a very unique experience and what you have to offer. And so um, I would just say, say like, you know, you're going to hear this a lot, like through net networking and everything, but really, truly be authentic to yourself. and you all have like something that's very special and unique about you. And so you just kind of need to brand yourself in that way. Wonderful. I love the fact that <clears throat> art is sort of a continuing theme and even your motivation to settle in a career and finally sort of set up your art NGO or nonprofit uh, is a goal that you work towards. 
and even in the interview, I think all of that makes it different. You know, people with numbers associated with numbers don't really connect with uh, artists. I also see a sort of a profile uh, <laughs> image right behind you, and that's 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 obviously a sign of you know that you're always surrounded with art or sort of you want to create something. So well done, and continue to do that. Uh, going forward, you know, I'd really like to know about uh, what life at a firm like PwC is like. You don't have to name clients or whatever else, but what is it that you do there? And uh, does the training continue beyond, of course, your CPA license and the accounting degree? How is it like to progress in a career? So that's a follow-up question also. So tell us more about what an accountant does, how does the career pan out, and uh, what's next for you? Yeah, definitely. Um, so for the past two years, I was actually on a public job, um, and it was a very, very challenging experience because it was one, you know, like job where everyone kind of knew whenever I mentioned the name that I was probably having a very rough time, which, you know, kind of worked to my advantage because in my two years, like even though I was kind of traveling like 26 weeks out of the year and it was challenging and everything. Like I got to learn a lot and it was a lot of accelerated learning. Um, and I had an incredible team that stood up for me anytime like I needed support um, on a day-to-day -day basis. Like every day kind of looks very different because you're solving different problems every single day. Um, so I work as an auditor, which mainly like means we're providing assurance to the people who rely on a company's financial information. So you're kind of creating this trust between the client and yourself, and also a trust between like yourself and the rest of the world that is relying on this information. And that's kind of the foundation of like our everyday job. Um, and I don't wanna get into like a lot of technical things, but PwC as a firm is very, very supportive. And I'm really proud to work there because especially like you know how difficult the times have been in the past few months with covid and just the racial injustice that we're seeing on a rise here every single day um the firm has really really stepped up and stayed true to its values and i think that's what's most important to me which is why i really do feel a part of the family there um, and they really do focus a lot on your continued learning so even though i have my cpa license uh, we still have to take a lot of um courses and learnings and everything just to stay up to speed and you know learn new accounting regulations learn new techniques and we're always like trying to improve ourselves um i actually use a lot of like software like tableau and Altrix, which are like data visualization and data like um mining like tools that you know people use in our day-to-day -day lives and so it's kind of like a challenge every single day um and a new experience which i really do love I hope that answered like yeah. most of the questions. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, so the last part was about where do accountants, when they start out, and how do you progress in your career in a large firm like PwC? Yeah, um, that's a really good question. We actually have like, um, I guess, like benchmarks that we meet every year, and we have like a, an annual conversation about what went well the past year and like what can we do more and everything. And so, as you move up, you're given more and more responsibility and um, mentoring and coaching is really important. So like even starting like your second year, you start like coaching interns and first years. And that's really important. And that's kind of how you progress in the firm where you're continuing your learning, but also you're giving back to the peers who are just joining your team. Um, and you can make it all the way up to partner, which kind of, I guess, happens like after like 13 to 14 years, if you are on that track. Um, but in addition to that, like they're always promoting learning in various different ways. Like if you feel like, okay, audit isn't working for me, I wanna try like tax or I wanna go into consulting instead. There's so many opportunities, especially for a firm like PwC, which is so global. Um, they give you a lot of opportunities to transfer if you wanna go somewhere else. Um, so yeah, I think like they do a really good job in progressing. Fantastic. I'm going to circle back to your RA days at Emory. Just want to know, you know, what kind of responsibilities you had, what challenges you really faced during that time. And for uh, students who are listening and would like to sort of uh, be RAs in the future, 
uh, what is the preparation or what kind of mindset should they develop over a period of time to be successful at that job? Go ahead, tell us both. Yeah, um, I would say one of the main things that you need is like compassion, patience, because um, you're gonna interact with like a lot of first year kids who you know are on a college campus for the first time in their lives, and some of them have like very you know. Um, they have very different experiences throughout their first year. So in order to navigate that, um, I think sometimes it was harder at Oxford because Oxford was a dry campus. And so enforcing like policies around um, consumption of alcohol or something sometimes was hard because, you know, they're your peers and everything. Um, and so those were challenges that like I definitely don't want to overlook. But I think mainly it's about like creating a community. And sometimes that can be hard because everyone kind of has their own like friend circles that they're becoming comfortable with and sometimes like getting people to come to programs could be hard but that's when you know serving your floor um is really helpful to see like hey what do you actually like want to see and so we ended up going to a lot of like exhibits uh together like we have like theaters over here that we went to the shows together we went to see like the bodies exhibit together we did like a terrarium making class kind of thing. And so, you know, these little things, like I think creativity in that aspect really helped me because um, it's definitely hard to get everyone on the same page to come together and build a community. But um, when it happens, it's really beautiful. Hey, that's wonderful. In fact, also circling back to your interest in art and since you were a teaching assistant for an art class, uh, how was that experience like? And for students who are interested in art, not just as a major, but as enthusiasts like you were and taking in some pretty amazing opportunities to be a TA, uh, what is that overall experience like? And what do students actually do and what do they come to you for as a TA? Yeah, it was really wonderful. Um, as a TA, I was mostly working with my uh, professor and sometimes like kind of the course for like her introductory classes and um i was there during like my office hours like where if there was an introductory class and someone needed help or guidance with something then they would just run their work by me and i would be there to help them it was a lot of also like studio maintenance and um studios can get pretty messy because you know sometimes like artists can have like a lot of equipment and everything and so maintaining all of that which was pretty wonderful for me to see because it gave me a chance to see a lot of equipment that I'd never seen and like especially like being in America for the first time you know seeing um pastels that I'd never seen before was also very exciting um and it really is a good uh, way for you to connect to your classmates and be there for them like and in part like okay this is something that I'm really passionate about and I've learned and I'm there to help you but also develop a relationship with your professor because um she kind of looks at you as someone she trusts and, you know, as like a mediator between the two. Wonderful. I'm going to switch gears and ask you questions uh, related to, say, your strengths first. If you were to pick three words to describe your strengths, which, uh, which adjectives would you pick? Ooh, that's hard. Um, I guess passionate, um, loyal, and resourceful. Okay, great. Uh, Next question. During this lockdown uh, period of yeah, shelter in place, what have you discovered about yourself? How do you keep yourself busy? How do you seek inspiration? How do you stay fit mentally and physically? Yeah, um, I kind of identified like things that I really like to do and I've been missing like while I was working nonstop. So it was a time for me to pause and look at what mattered to me. So reading a lot, um, I'm on my like 28th book of the year, which is after a really long time that I've been reading that much. Um, painting, obviously, going for runs, um, just little things like that, like whatever makes you happy and like keeps you going. And definitely staying connected to like friends and family has been a lot easier because it's on my own time and work is flexible. So yeah, just like being true to the things that matter to me. Yeah, so that 28 book list sounds interesting. We, we definitely want you to share. As a, what are the three picks? What are your top three picks from the 28? Oh, wow. Um, okay, I would say Know My Name by Chanel Miller. 
The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. Um, the last one I'm probably going to go with, um, I'll go with Sapiens by Yuval Noah Harari. Great. So uh, I'm familiar with the last book by Yuval uh, Noah Harari, but what about the first two? What, what, are, what are the things that attracted you about the book? Yeah, so Know My Name is a, a memoir by Chanel Miller about her experience of actually um, going through something pretty traumatic. Like, I don't want to um, say anything without any trigger warnings, mm -hmm. but going through something traumatic, like on a college campus. And it's written in a very beautiful way. She's actually also a children's book illustrator. Um, so I would definitely recommend like checking out that memoir. It's written very, very beautifully. Um, and then the second one was the Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett, and she's uh, this is her second novel, and it's truly incredible. It just came out last month. It's about two sisters who are um, black, but they kind of are um, light in the sense that they pass as white, and so one lives her life as a black person in a black community, but the other one kind of grows up in a white suburban neighborhood and everything so the it's a story about the two twins and how they kind of find their way back to each other but it's beautifully beautifully written and actually hbo picked it up last month for a mini series so pretty quick and pretty incredible um i would recommend checking it out fantastic i think that's your third career maybe you should do uh, <clears throat> quick video reviews <laughs> So it is, it is delightful uh, reconnecting with you, Tanushree, an artist, uh, audit, uh, uh, a very interesting combination, and yeah, I'm probably a book reviewer too. <laughs> so all the best and uh, look forward to following your journey in the future. We will have a few panels and I really want to invite you for some of those sessions. Uh, could be art, could be uh, business, and I'm, I'm quite confused at the moment, but I definitely want to look up uh, look you up again uh, for and yeah call you on some of those uh, events that we have scheduled soon uh take care and thanks again bye thank you